Our two politicians who've spoken already have taken time out from electioneering today, so we're really grateful for that. Uh, I'm afraid that all of their uh, Conservative colleagues are out on the stump trying to get elected, which is perfectly reasonable. But Richard Tracy, who works on the uh, GLA Transport Committee for the Conservatives alongside Val and Caroline, has kindly sent a statement that I'm going to briefly read out to you now. I'm sorry I can't be with you today, but I'm glad that Andrew Gilligan is here, and Andrew will be speaking in a minute, to represent the Mayor. I'm sure Andrew will talk about the vast sums that the Mayor is investing in cycling and the great work that is going on to help London cyclists, so I'd like to address something slightly different. I've always believed that the best reasons to cycle are because it is faster and cheaper than the alternatives and that the best way to encourage cycle should go with the grain of those two facts. In April, my colleague Roger Evans published a report for the GLA Conservatives entitled Commuter Payback, Providing Rebates for Flexible Commuting. In this report, he made the case for giving rebates to commuters who have paid for an annual travel card and then underuse it. The Mayor has already committed to introducing some form of flexible ticketing in January 2015, and the GLA Conservatives will be pushing him to introduce our system of rebates and help give those thinking of cycling a push. That was a statement from Richard Tracy, Conservative Member of the London Assembly.